Hey guys, uh, it's me. I don't know if you know this. I'm at my friend Mike's house. Hi! My friend Mike, such a good friend. He helped me out when I first came out here. I don't know if I'd be here without him. You're so cute. Thanks. Um, Mike uh, produced Lessons, which we just shot a whole bunch of night shoots for. You might remember me talking about it. There were some, uh, there were some long nights. Zach was there. That movie was um, good. That movie was good. And uh, and he wrote, he's been writing for the past like billion years, a uh, short that we're going to be shooting um, at the end of the month called Quarry. And we're all very excited about it. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. And I came over today, guys, and he had all this stuff that he got for the movie that he wants you to see. Yay! And and Mike's gonna Mike's gonna go through this Yay! stuff and show stuff. you what it is. I love stuff. Stuff is great. We all love stuff. Um. Okay. So you can see we have a cornucopia. I like that word. Of stuff. Uh. Let's see. So this is the uh, the sidearm of one of the main characters. So this is a. Uh, an MP9. Um, and, and guys, none of these weapons shoot bullets, so don't get scared of it. They're just airsoft, even though they're like <laughs> metal. Very realistic. And they're just, yes. <laughs> they look like they can murder people. They probably most likely cannot do that. Anyway. But safety is important. Um, so this is the holster for this sucker. So it's huge. Uh, yeah, so this is a little submachine gun. A little retractable stock. So it's it's pretty boss. This is quite. A, it's also uh, it's gas. So once we charge up this magazine, we pull the trigger. It makes a really loud roaring noise, and the whole bolt assembly moves as if it was a real gun. So that's really good for realism. Not good if you're in public. So don't ever use them in public because that's stupid. Um, this right here is a little just gun I've been working on. Um, decided to use it for the movie. Uh, it was, I think, an M4 that we'd broken for some previous project. And I was like, I'll never use it again. And then I was like, hmm, idea. So uh, we made this little uh, PVC tube, which we drilled some holes into, mounted some plumbing parts on it. Um, we put in some LEDs or glow sticks in here so that once it's lit up, it's kind of this cool, like, glowing sci-fi rifle. And then this is going to be for, uh, like, a, a bounty hunter scavenger kind of character. So we really wanted to make it look kind of... You know, use, so we got a band-aid on here, smiley face, um, he even has a little bit of graffiti on the, uh, the stock. Um, not fully done, I'm going to do some more work on it, hopefully make it look a little less like an M4, because it still looks that way, but, so that's cool. Um, of course we have the, the big kahuna, this is the, some of the Dragoon armor, um, it actually weighs quite a bit, it is, it is a warm suit, to say the least. Um, so, yes, God bless whoever's going to wear that. <laughs> um, his knife down here. You guys can check that sucker out. Look at this, you guys. It's heavy. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a bayonet. It's really heavy. Feels like it could actually, that could actually probably murder someone, actually. Probably. Luckily, we grind the blades on all our knives and swords so that the actors will be safe. That's really important for anybody who's wanting to make a movie. Um, so yeah, we got some more pistols. These are going to be for uh, most of the bad guys. Pick them up. The, show, the show them. This is the one that Neil has a, a personal crush on. This is the, the cutlass. Um, see a little engraving on the handle. Ooh, ah. And I think this is a uh, tie writing on the side of the barrel. I can't even see that. Yeah, it's engraved in there. But Neil loves this thing a lot. It's also um, gas, just like the little submachine gun over there. Um, let's see what else. Uh, this is going to be the gun for the main character, Dakota. Uh, it's made by a company called, it's a model, um, C75. But uh, it's made by this Japanese company. And it's kind of crazy because um, it doesn't actually fire anything. But it ejects shells like a real gun would. So Neil was playing with it earlier, trying to be uh, Leo DiCaprio <laughs> from, from Inception. <laughs> but, uh, it's hard. I, I did it, though, you guys. I did it twice. I did it twice. <laughs> like, pulled the trigger and then moved my hand from underneath the gun and caught the shell in midair. It was fucking cool. I, I, I can't do it, so 
but yeah. Neil's better than me. <laughs> um, so over here we have stuff for the, the shock troopers. These are kind of like the big bad guys at the end of the film. Um, so that's their masks that they wear. Um, they These have, are really cool. Yeah, they are pretty cool. Um, I would be scared of someone wearing that. They have this uh, this riot armor that they're going to be wearing on their arms and legs. All right, yeah. So the big is, ones are probably the legs. So this is yeah, this is this is real British riot armor. So if we if we really want to go stop some zombies, we can lock and load out. Um, this is their assault rifle. This is uh, an L85. Uh, it's used by the British Army, but it looks really cool. So, you know, it's got the bullpup design, which is pretty rare out in the world. I guess it's becoming more common, but it's just cool. So we got this sucker. Um, yeah. So I mean, these are just some of the toys that we're playing with. There's more in the closet over there. There are more in the closet. Uh, yeah, we got boots and holsters and belts, and helmets and masks and more guns. More pants. They always need pants. More stuff in the corner, including a gato. <laughs> including no meowsers. Hello, meowsers. She's feeling a little under the weather, but she's beautiful. She's taking a nice, cute nap. Um, so yeah, these are just these are just some of the things that we're using. Um, you know, uh, there's there's still a couple more things we need to purchase, but overall, in regards to like props and stuff, we're really solid, we're really good. So we are getting getting close to shooting, getting to shooting time, and that's sorry. That's yeah, exciting. we have like what like three weeks. We got about three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> excuse me, guys. Um, yeah, we sh we shoot in three weeks. We shoot the last week of August. We're still raising money, right? Yeah, on the, the, in, in, the Indiegogo Indiegogo is still going. It's got about 11, 10 or, yeah, 10 or 11 days left. Um, we're about 50% of the way there. But, uh, but yeah. And I'll, I'll link that in this video for you guys. If you want to help out, that'd be fantastic. Even if you can't give any money, uh, just try and, you know, tell someone else about it. Maybe... Maybe they'd like to help. This project could be really cool. Yeah, just uh, just spread the word. Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, whatever you want to do to just get the word out. The more people to know, the better we'll be. Yeah, and and if we actually get our budget, this is going to be a really cool looking movie. Yeah, Neil's Neil's shooting it. I am going to shoot it. I'm going to shoot it. We're shooting on the uh, the Red Scarlet mm -hmm. with my buddy Zach. He's going to be the camera operator. Uh, we're going to get tons of really cool lights. Oh, tell them about all the cool lights we're gonna get. We're gonna get like EL wire. We're gonna light uh, one uh, of the one of the big scenes at the end uh, is gonna. We're trying to light as much as possible with like neon and EL wire, very Blade Runner like, to give it just this cool techno cyberpunk feel. So that, if goes well, will look awesome. We were just online, like just maybe like an hour ago, looking at all these lights that we're gonna get, and it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna look really neat. Yeah, when no. we're done. It's going to be, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can barely sleep. That's how I'm <laughs> I don't even sleep anymore. Oh. I sold my pillow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need it. Um, but yeah, that's about it, you guys. Here's one last look at all the goodies. So many. This is definitely my favorite, Mike. This is definitely my favorite. It is so cool. And so cool looking. Uh, it's definitely neat. And there's like a sword thing that the the bounty hunters are gonna use. Yeah, bounty hunters gonna have that. By the way, guys, this goes on the arm of the dragoon. It's like this genetically engineered soldier, super soldier. Yeah, super soldier that um, is now getting persecuted because people are scared of them. Yep. Um, but they, but they wear badass armor. They wear badass fucking armor. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, sorry this video is kind of long. Um, I got new internet today though, so I'm gonna upload it super quick. So that's good. Normally, normally Mike, I don't know if you know this, but I normally it takes a long time to be able to upload a video. <laughs> Wait like an hour and a half to upload a four minute video. Ugh. Anyway, um, yeah, guys, thanks for showing up and thanks for watching this. And yeah, again, link for the Indiegogo for the, to support this film is gonna be in the description. It might even be right here. In front of Mike's face. Maybe. We'll see. Let's find out. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, look, look at that right there. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. Anyway, thanks for showing up, guys, and have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.